Hello. We are live. Let's do this. do this it's happening right now believe it or not it is happening there's a live show going on right now and it involves me hi I'm your host Art Baltazar I'm gonna put on some lights welcome to famous cartoonist paints things some more lights on action today I'm gonna paint this this is going to be Uncle Creepy, the classic monster comic book host of the 1960s. It's going to be a Halloween theme because we're getting close to Halloween. I moved it. I moved the canvas, the easel, a little closer because it's a smaller painting. I'm used to the larger paintings, which are about two by two, and I put it on a backing board on my giant clipboard so it could lean on the easel and not get a little divot or groove in there because it's short. See, if I do this, it's gonna, you know, but you get it. I need some back, some back support, if you will. And today I will draw. I know what he's going to look like, but I'm actually going to make a little sketch to show you what I'm thinking. Okay. Here's how I'm going to approach this guy. Uncle Creepy. So I kind of want him. Got to have hair. He's got to have teeth. He's got. It's gonna look a little bit like this. It's gonna look a little weird. I'm gonna do my best to make it look something like that. See, Uncle Creepy on there. It's gonna look something like that. So, that's a quick little thumbnail of what he's going to look like, kind of. So, let us start. But first, most important, if you're here with me, it's time to do a swig. And I also have to make sure, I hope I started this right, to make sure this is in... 1080p HD. I hope so. Let us start. Let's do this, man. Let's do it. Start out with some white because I'm going to draw them on there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot of. A lot of darks, a lot of black and white, a lot of grays. Maybe a little bit of color on his nose. I think I need another picture of him. Gotta see what he looks like. I gotta get it in my head. Oh, there he is. The uncle is the creepiest of dudes. That's him right there. See, he looks weird. He's just an old guy. Just an old, weird guy. He looks like a zombie. And he actually... He actually looks like a nice guy. He's 
So we're gonna do this. It reminds me of an ostrich or a, what do you call those birds? Buzzards. <laughs> a little bit. It's gonna be good. I see it already. The creepiest of uncles is Uncle Creepy. It's in his name. You can say, go, go hug your Uncle Creepy, kids. Like, no way. <laughs> Why? Uncle Creepy. But he's creepy, Mom. He's still your uncle. <laughs> he's still your uncle, kids. At least go give him a handshake. That's it, he's almost done. <laughs> no, not quite. See what you guys are saying. Oh, yes, yeah, sir, Joe. You're a good man, sir. He's saying hello. What are you going to paint today, Mr. Famous Cartoonist? Today I'm painting Uncle Creepy. Oh, yeah, Famous Cartoonist. I am painting Uncle Creepy today. Which, uh, it's a little spooky character. But he's, he's from the old... Uh, horror comics genre. That makes sense. It does. But that's what he's from. He's a host, kind of like the Crypt Keeper. Kind of like the way the Crypt Keeper was on HB Ojos. HB Ojos. HB Eyes? That's right. No, fading yellow is not going to do it. I think this guy's going to be all gray. Maybe some green. Maybe some light green. Make him look sick. Make him look ill. But not like the good ill. Not like uh, not like those guys. Beastie Boy ill. Just to make him look like he's not doing very well. Kind of ill. I think I might just go black and white. Maybe some ill on his face. Just a little bit. Like light. Some light. 
light meandering. Is that what we'll do? Uncle Creepy. This guy, I don't, I don't know if he'll take very long today. There's going to be a little bit of green in there. I'm going to dust it in there. Do some light dusting of green. Just to make them look like zombie ish. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Green's powerful, it looks like. Here it is. It's the light dusting. Just to make him look a little ill. He's heapy illy. Not subtle enough. Let's see. Creepy. Uncle Creepy. <clears throat> oh, it's time for a swig, I think. It's looking pretty crazy. It's pretty ill. It's pretty fly. Oh, yeah. Sergio says hello again, Sergio. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, Uncle Creepy. They're from Deep Brands here. Let's see, Benjamin Anthony, Dr. Benjamin. I know a guy who looked like a Uncle Creeper. Also was his brother. <laughs> you do. That's good, man. That's like he's not Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. He does look like Mr. Burns a little bit. Today, I am also painting. Good, man. Paint with me. Let's paint together. Is this the Halloween special? It could be. Actually, next week I'm painting again for Halloween, right? Falls on a Saturday. Spinning is looking really cool. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you, Scotty Casper. They're all here. All up in the house today. They're all here sharing their time, their moments, with famous cartoonist paints things on Saturdays. Are you enjoying the HD? I upgraded my camera. It's upgraded to HD. It's a 1080p. I don't know what the P stands for. I'm uh, assuming maybe proportions. 1080 proportions. 1080 power. 1080 Peabody. 1080 chickpea. I don't know. It does stand for something. I'm not sure at this time. I do not know. I do not know what it stands for. This is going to be a backwards type painting since I'm doing a lot of. Oh, that should be white. Purses. This is what I wanted to do right here. It's all right. I'll make it work. See, I never go with black. I always do black glass, and that was my mistake. I made my own mistake on comic, art, comic book guy, famous cartoonist paintings. 
The judgment. I blame it on a vampire. That's okay. I can make great. I need to make great. That's what I was trying to do. You know, like great tone going. We're going to make it work. I should let the guy who ordered this, let him know that I'm painting. This is me going on the internet while I'm on a live show. Hey man, what you doing, man? I just had it. Nope, you're good. I'm gonna run, stop, no. Painting. Creepy. Right now. Why? I'm painting it live, man. See, Sergio says I'm going to paint Superman or Batman in my basement right now, and, and oh yeah, creativity. Cool, man. Yeah, you gotta do it, man. I'm painting this ultimate creepy fella. This may not be a, a three-hour, three-hour uh, thing because I don't think he's gonna take that long to do. But he might. It's gonna be mostly in the in the creepiness. After all, creepiness. He does look like Mr. Burns. So I kind of just want it to be, of course, like the paint has to look like paint. But this right here, I should have made it. All right, there you go. It's working. We're going to make it work. Work, folks. creepy. I'm a little freaking myself out. I'm creeping myself out. Because he's not Uncle Freaky. He's Uncle Creepy. <laughs> he could be freaky. 
what if he's freaky too? Uncle Freaky Creepy. Swig. You gotta swig, swig it with me, man. Swigging it away. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. That's nice and cold. It hits the back real good. It's hitting the back. How's creepy looking? Is it all right? I think it looks good. Nice and creepy. Creeptastic, if you will. I'm going to show you guys something later. In my next interval. If I gotta wait for something to, to dry, I'm gonna show you something. I might show you anyway. I'm gonna mix a little yellow in here because I'm gonna give him a creepy yellow eye. Creepy yellow eye. I'm add some white to it. Make it pop a little bit in the middle. That is creepy. That is more creepier than I could ever think of creeping. I didn't think I could creep so much. I would be creeping right now. Very creepily. But that was good, Baltus. I was really creepy. Creepiest thing I ever saw creep. It's creepiest thing ever worth creeping. Looks nuts. I like it. This is weird and creepy and spooky and everything, all of that at once. Look at it up close. It's looking creepy, but it looks cool, right? I don't think it needs much more. You need some red, maybe some outlines. I don't know. It's pretty good. I think it's getting to the point. It's like that song, getting to the point. Can't sing, no, I'll get copyright struck. I can only sing songs I own. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to show you guys something. For all of you wondering, if you go on Threadless, you can buy t-shirts, but also, before I get peanut, if you go on Threadless right now, you can buy stuff. You can buy t-shirts, but also pillows. Check this out. I got a Wolf Boy pillow. I got a Drew and Jock pillow. And I got the Gilbert, the Little Mermaid pillow. Go on there and buy them. They're really cool. And I have a little couch down here that I put these on. I have a little bench. See the outfit real nice, cushiony. 
We're going to put it back over here. Really happy. I've been decorating my art studio, so it's really cool. I got a lot of space on here now. Let's see. I think I'm going to add some green. How about green? We're going to add some darker green. And when I say we are, I mean me. Because that's creepy. I sound like Venom. We are Venom. We are. What do you add to I'm running out of this one. It's called Phalo Green. Phalo. Phalo Green. Oh, here it is. These are both Phalo Greens. It almost sounds like CeeLo Green. It's a Phalo Green, but with a CeeLo Green. They should make a CeeLo Green. I would buy that color. It would make you dance, gives you some groove, give you some rhythm. Some spirit. Let me see. But I don't really need more spirit, more rhythm. Or maybe I do. You never know. You never, ever, never, never know. Ever. <laughs> you guys still watching me? Like, shut up, Balthazar. Shut up, I'm paying my pain. Why you don't turn up? This won't be better. Let's go sick. I'm gonna go sick. Let's go sick. I like going sick. Today's kind of up for grabs. A little later after I'm done painting. I'm not sure what the family plan is. Normally we have something going on. But I don't know if we do today. So, what will happen here? I might tackle that you see in the little corner right here. There's a red painting. That's my backdrop. I might add some color. If this one goes down real fast, well, maybe I'll feel the end of this, you know? This is real thick. I'm going to go with the thinner brush. I knew it. That was my instinct. That was my instinct. But I, I denied the instinct. That's okay. It still looks good. It's very painterly. Ba -da 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 -da. I want this too, too precise. I still want it to look crazy. You know, I want this guy to be real. Creepy like. on the floor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, is he creepy? Uncle Creepy. What do you guys think? <laughs> He's looking ghouly. He's looking ghouly and weird. It's looking ghouly and weird, weird and creepy. That's kind of what we want, though, right? We want him to be creepy. I'm going to show you guys up close what you're looking at. Creepy? Does he get in there? Creepy licious. That's what he is. He's creepy licious. Beyonce would be proud. She'd be like, damn, Artie, that's creepy licious. That's what she'd say. And Jay Z would say, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what he'd say. I'm looking at it, though. It's getting there. It needs some pop. It needs something to distinguish. Looking at it. Not quite sure. I'm going to go what my instincts tells me. And I'm going to put red on there. They're like, red? What balls are? Uncle Creepy's not red. But he's going to be. You got to go with it. Let the paint guide you. Do what you feel in your heart is best. And that will be the truth. You will find your way. Once again, may not look like it, but it's a painting that I'm struggling. I'm not struggling, but I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going. It's good to know, like, what do you mean you don't know where you're going? So after seeing those Halloween decorations, man, I feel inspired. It's very creepily. I'm going to give him some weird stuff. Oh, oh. Just hack it a little bit. You don't want to take too much away. I like that. What it looks here, the negativity. The negative space. Of course, the red shows up better on the black. Remember, you can't have a dark. You don't have, have a light. And of course, I need that eyeball. I'm going to use my magic stick. Get the eyeball in there, perfect. It needs to be lowered in there. I'm gonna go right there. That's where it's gonna go. It's gonna be a lump. So I'm gonna be looking at us, you know. Oh, look at that! Oh, he's creepy. <laughs> paint feel that nothing's quite deliberate. Everything's deliberate, but nothing's precise. That's what I like about this a little bit. The 
creepiness shining through. Okay. If I have some yellow, I can add yellow too. I do have yellow. I'm going to add it. Going in. See, look at Just add a little bit on there. Thick. See, so it's kind of it's on there, scattered. It's intentional, but with chaos. Intentional, but with intent to confuse. It's not designed to say, how did he do that? It's designed to just make you say, why did he do that? <laughs> I'm trying to go dark, but the famous cartoonist in me goes light. Goes crazy. Yeah, famous cartoonist, we're not sure what you're trying to do. But he's definitely doing it. creepy fella. Alright, we're still going. It's because I got a pop-up ad here. How did I get around a pop-up ad? So block me. Okay, I think I'm back. All right, did I lose you guys? All right, let's see. See, Deep Brad says, are you familiar with John Stanley comic Melvin Moss? I have two hard couple questions that are very funny. Your kind of humor, I think they are from the 60s. Both go on if you have it. I have I do not know Melvin Monster. That'd be cool. Oh man, Doc Shaper called me and told me to check it out about Uncle Creepy. Yeah. This is for Doc Shaper. This is the man. So it just says, oh yeah, I'm starting famine. Cool man, I like it. Jimmy! Hey, I know this jerky. <laughs> Jimmy Martis, I know you too, man. I miss you, buddy. Ken Bixby said, I just primed the background to work on the same character. Oh, my God. Yeah. Doc has you working too. Working for the canvases. Creepy got it. Creepy got art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Creepy. It's creepy style. It's creepy. He's fully functional. And he is creepy. Creepy up in the house. We are as creepy as creepy can be. And I'm glad we're still here because uh, I had a pop-up ad. It was in the middle of my screen. And it was for Netflix. They want me to watch something. I don't want to watch them now. Don't they know I'm painting? The world knows I'm doing the live painting show right now. How come Netflix doesn't? Maybe they do and they don't care. That's what it is. They don't care. Famous cartoonist. That was me talking to myself. That was weird. They just don't care. Netflix doesn't care. Because I'm on their time right now. Every time is Netflix time. That's probably what they think. We don't care. We're going to get this guy. Oh, 
It's all creepy, man. The creeps start setting in. Like, what are you doing, Bald Star? All right, I like it. I'm going magical now. I think all I need is black and white. It's weird. The canvas starts white, but then I had a bunch of color and finish it up with white on top of white. But we're going to do some gray, I think. What's some gray? How about it, man? How about some gray? Yeah, that looked pretty good. I'm going to add some here because once I put the white on there, I want it to pop a little more. I don't really want this to be perfect. I want it to look like this guy's struggling with life itself. Going to add some things to this. Yeah, that's pretty good. We don't want too much. subdue it too much. He's all up where you want to be. He's all up in your business. He's doing it very creepily, though. You don't want him in your business, man. Keep him away. Keep him away from your biznatch. <laughs> your biznatch. I'm gonna give him some blood on his teeth. How about that? We don't see that coming often. Oh, maybe a little on his hands. Just a little bit. Just let her know he's not a nice guy. Maybe a little on his nose. Watch this. Just a little bit. Just a hint. Just a hint. Maybe a little bit out of his ear. Just a hint. Carry the red through. So you just carry pump, 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 pump. Just to carry it through. A little bit right here. So something. It's a little bit. <laughs> Good song, folks.
It's pretty good. Gonna let it dry a little bit. Make it creepy for the audience. He's got his eye on you guys. Everyone in YouTube land and in Facebook city is looking at you guys. Very creepily. Very creepily looking at you. I right, looks cool. I see it now. Already just got creepy. I like that. Everything went black on my side, but it's all good now. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. That Ed knocked me out. It's okay. I came back. Looks very cool. Great job. Thanks, guys. I'm going to let this guy dry a little bit. I'm going to add some black and some white. It doesn't really need much black, though. But I'm going to add some because it doesn't need much. It's down here, but this eye is getting lost. So I'm going to add some here, maybe on the teeth. The white's going to really pop them. The white's going to bring out the hair. It's going to look cool. And Uncle Creepy won't be, uh, won't be long until he's finished. Maybe because it's a smaller canvas or just the design itself. It's just a, less, a lesser of a challenge. Lesser of a... Lesser of a layout, maybe? Composition? I kind of want to give him eyelashes. <laughs> Let's see. I want to have my stick. My magic stick. Uncle Creepy. Sounds like you, Balthazar. It is creepy. It's the creepy one. So he looks like yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true?
Nya, nya. Nya, nya. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is doing. <laughs> I guess he's okay. I don't know if I need any more black in there. A little bit, like right here. I think he's okay. I think he looks good, right? Creeptastic, creepy. The creeptastic, creepy styling. About the creepy. But I don't want to say hi to Uncle Creepy. These are all gold. Go do it. Uncle Creepy. It's not really showing up. Let's see. Just in time for Halloween, folks. The creepiest of creepy creepies has ever creeped. Live now. Let's see. Deep breaths, everything went black. We're good. We're back now. Looks good. Jody McQuarters. Welcome, Jody. Hey, Art. What's Uncle Creepy's cousin's name? Oh, I, re I knew that. That was like, uh... oh, I forgot what his name was. Creepy Doodle. Grimace? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I forgot I drew him one time. He's a really weird guy. I am drawing the blue on Batman. Cool, man. Do it, man. Creepy's not bad. I'm going to add some white. I think he's almost done. I think the creepy master will be finished in moments. I don't see it much go for much more. But you never know. It's kind of like unlocking a puzzle. It's kind of like painting is un like unlocking a puzzle. The more and more you go, the more you find things that need to be done. But right now, it's time for a swig. <sighs> Delicious. The ice is solid. Look at I got more ice in there. I'm going to add more. I'm going to open up a can. You guys are going to hear it. This is going to be a good sound effect. I'm holding it right to the camera. Oh, yeah. You hear that? I'm pouring it right in here. I'm not going to show you the can because they don't sponsor the show. <laughs> but it was red and silver. Only because it was on sale, but I'm more of a Pepsi drinker. Diet, of course. 
I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you Seinfeld style like this. But they always cover it. They always cover it. See? I'm doing it, pouring it in there. It's weird when your ice is no longer floating. If I fill it up, I like my soda, I fill it all the way up to the top. The cup, I fill it all the way up to the top. Then I pour my soda in there. Until the ice is all the way solid. As you can see, it's real solid. There's only about this much space on the bottom for soda. But I like it all the way up. And then I put it in there. And then ice becomes an ingredient of the drink. Not just... Not just soda with ice to make it cold, but ice is in there. It's infiltrating, if you will. And it's just straight diet soda, so don't get excited. <laughs> Put the can over here so I don't accidentally crush it. All right. Maybe the adult beveraging will begin later, but no plans as, as of yet. Keep my wits. All right, let's go for it. Let's do it. You can tell, yeah, that bolts us really relaxed. Takes his time painting when all this, all of us are watching. I'm gonna make it real thick white because a lot of this is not dry yet, and it has the possibility to contaminate. We don't want contamination. I'm even going to switch to a thicker brush. I'm going to do some of these in here first. Get some highlights going. Maybe just a little bit. Like that, see? Just a little bit. Just to show. Just to show that I was there. Pushy here. Let's see. I don't know if I need it. Maybe right here. Maybe a little bit around the eye. Not really. I got a lot. It's still kind of light. It's light and creepy. It's that's a new salad dressing, by the way. Light and creepy. That's good. All right, we're going in. Thicker brush type.
creepy beyond creep itself. Creepy beyond creep. It's got creepy stuff happening in his hair. <laughs> could be lice, could be dangerous. But it is creepy. It is overall creepy. How's that look? Is that looking creepy? Is that looking like hair? Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm not sure what to do. I do know what to do. I wanted to add white, but now I don't. I want that to be that. I could add some on the teeth, maybe. A little bit, just a little touch. Just a touch. Just to bring it out. Just a touch. Man, too much there, it's going to take away. The hair is a good effect. I think it looks cool. You see. What's it need? What's it need? I don't even think it needs much. Maybe some... Uh, Maybe some of this one. Maybe. I don't even know. Let's see what it looks like. Let us see. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Pushes it out a little more. See this? I 
That makes them white, but not like it needs to be next to something. Yeah, yeah. The creepy that is Uncle Creepy. See, like this, but I need fine tuning. Not rough, but look, don't go to real neat. A little bit, a little bit on the sloppy side. Bounce a little bit. It's Keep that dark, that light. Let me get some red down here. It's a big glob. Big glob of red. Those are globs. Getting weird, <laughs> but it's good though. It's good and weird. What do you guys think? Am I done? I think I might be. A little bit here, just a hint. Just a hint. Just a hint. When it's clothing. Should I spray it with some red? I'm gonna. So I got some red on here. It could use a good spray. It could use a good spray. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put this on the ground. I spray it a little bit. So I got red that I can use. I'm gonna do it right now. But I'm keeping it away from my amigos. Uncle is creepiest. Oh man, is that weird. I am a bit frightened. I'm a bit frightened of this painting. I don't know what I did. I hope my children don't come down here right now. <laughs> They'll be frightened, scared, out of their wits. I'm going to show you guys up close. Wait, wait, wait. Turns out I'm all alone. I thought people were home in my house, but it's just me. Okay, I'm going to show you up close. Look at Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you guys think? It kind of looks like the Joker and Mr. Burns mixed together. They fell in love, got married, made sweet, sweet love, and then produced this child. <laughs> they produced Uncle Creepy. Red always makes it look like blood. It's always amazing how much color, just color, can influence. You know? Just color can influence something. Let's see what the guys are saying. So just say, I gotta go, but I will continue to do cartooning and let your work inspire me. Oh yeah, Sergio. You're a good man. Doc Shavers, it looks great. Cool man. I'm glad you dig it, sir. D Brad loves it too. D Brad's a good man. Doc Shavers a good man. Sergio is awesome. Jody's awesome. All right. I'm going to sign it somewhere. Usually with the canvases, I like to sign them on the side, so that's what I'm going to do. So when you hang it on your wall, you'll see the, the autograph on the side. I'm going to do that. Uncle Creepy, and then I title it too. Right, right on there. Just so I could get it. Uncle. Uncle Creepy by Uncle Artie. This is really cool. I'm really digging this painting. See? On the side I put. See, it says Uncle Creepy. Or Baltazar. That is me, fierce cartoonist. What do you guys think? Is that cool? You guys like them? I like them too. I'm going to show you up close again. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Uncle Creepy. Creepy is mysterious. The man with the golden fleecy hair. It's not golden. Silver mane. Should I paint more? Should I keep going? That's Uncle Creepy. For all the world to see, full on creepiness. The full on creepiness. I'm going to take a picture of this and post it somewhere so you guys can see what I painted today. And just for that, we're, let's do a swig. Swig for the work, man. Next week, I'm going to paint. I think I'm going to paint an Ant Man. It's either going to be Ant Man or Beast Boy and Raven. I think it's Ant Man's up next. I'm going to do an Ant Man on Captain America Shield. We'll figure out how that's going to go. Well, look what I found. Oh my God. There's a tiny hand on the floor. I gotta find out where this hand goes. Who it goes to. It's too small to be Migo. I think I'm gonna um, 
take a break. I'm going to paint later, but it won't be on, on screen. But I want to thank you for joining me today. This was really fun. And uh, I would do this again. This is Uncle Creepy. Remember, if you guys want a painting, it could happen. I can make it happen here. Paintings are $200. If you're in the U.S., they're $200. And 20 bucks a ship. And you can PayPal me at ArthurBaltazar at Yahoo.com. My contacts are on my website, just in case you forget. But that's my email address. And it's also my PayPal address. So if you want to send me $200 plus 20 bucks, so $220. And I will paint your painting live on the air. Normally I paint on boards. So they're roughly about two by two. And I have a few left. I have about eight of them. Until I'm getting more. But I like to paint on those. They're really nice. I feel comfortable. They're nice and big. I can get, I can get bigger on it. I use my thick brushes. So if you're interested, let me know. Let me know which characters you like, and that's that's the best way. And then if you're out of the country, if you're out of the U.S., they cost three hundred, and then I'll uh, including shipping, because shipping to ship outside the U.S. is real expensive now. To ship a painting might be like sixty bucks, eighty bucks. I'm not really sure, but I know if I send an envelope, it costs forty bucks. So I'm just assuming, but. Thank you guys for watching. This is really cool. The music you're listening to is my son's music. It's uh, Gordon Baltazar's music, and it's on SoundCloud. I have all of the links are in the descriptions, so you could go to all my links, and it links up to where to everything I do online. So you can listen to my my guy Gordon Baltazar's music for free. Just put your headphones on, get at your drawing desk, and just have a good time. And you can go to eBay. I got a Joker piece up there right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be sold. So here's it right here. Look, and he's a good companion piece. Don't look creepy. But I drew this last week, and this guy's gonna be on. He's on eBay now. He's almost done. He's almost at the end of his auction. So he's gonna be up for. Uh, I'm gonna be shipping him out this week. So a lucky bidder. I don't know who's gonna win. But I'll be posting more things on eBay. I'll be posting things on Threadless. I'll be I'm up, gonna upload some new T-shirt designs soon. Soon, but everything you see online, my Comicsology and my uh, eBay and Threadless and anything you see I do online is all going towards me publishing some comics. So all the funds I'm raising through that is going to print oh yeah comics number 13 and hero man number one and webster number one and abraham lincoln number one oh yeah comics 14 15 16 so i'm going to try to raise money and sell print comics so i can sell them to you and at conventions and the only way to get them is through me so they're exclusives art box is our famous cartoonist and all your comics exclusives so thank you for your support man this is really cool sorry for the long commercial but um, sweat I do. That's a word. Sweat, sweat I do. And um, I'm gonna paint some more today. I'm gonna paint this big canvas. This giant piece. I have this giant canvas here, and this thing is a backdrop to my uh, morning shows, it's my live shows every day. I'm going to paint it, but I need to, uh, it's not very exciting because I'm not going to finish it. I don't want to, I want you to reveal, I'm going to paint it a little bit and reveal a little bit every day, on, every week on my morning show because most of these paintings I have, I have my flash, I have hand sold, they're all here and I'm going to wrap them up uh, today. That's another thing I got to do. I'm going to wrap those up today and I'm going to wrap them up tomorrow and I'll get them in the mail Monday, probably Monday or Tuesday. And uh, so that's all I got to do. I got to work. I got to do some stuff. But you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out, man. This is really cool. And I got the HD stuff now to 1080p. So when you watch this on YouTube, it uh, it looks fabulous. And it looks great on your widescreen TV. You can, you can watch this with the family in your living room. And I can say, hey, kids, 
How's the wife? How's the husband? Hey, kids, make sure you eat your vegetables. Take your vitamins. Say, I can say stuff like that. And I can speak to you right in your living room. You could have coffee or some soda or water or whatever you prefer. And I recommend any, I recommend a beverage. So you can swing with the famous cartoon of Swing for the working man. Sweet for the working people. Sweet for everybody out there. I'm going to read some comics now before I go. Comments. Not comics. I'll read comics later. I'm going to read some comments. Make sure you guys are not uh, not missing anything cool. Look, you guys love it. Hey, Brad says, that sure looks great. I love it. Looks great. Oh, yeah, Uncle Creepy, cool. Mystery of the tiny hand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Time. Great time with you today. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jody. It was pretty cool. Uncle Creepy's cousin, Erie. That's right. Cousin Erie. Thanks, Art. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, guys. That's fantastic. Thank you, man. Sweet for the cartoonist. Thank you guys for watching. This is this is real fun. I will do this again. Remember to join me on Monday. I'm going to have famous cartoonist says things at noon. I'm going to wear something nice for you guys. But hang in there. Do your thing. You guys are awesome. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Stay for the credits. Woohoo! You guys are awesome. Thank you.